Uh, Rory Burns, what's your reaction to the news that Hashim Amla's retired? Um, congratulations to him, really. Uh, you know, <laughs> don't think I'm that well placed to speak about how good a career he's had. But, um, you know, it's obviously a brilliant career, a long career, and uh, one he should be very proud of. What would you like to play with, work with? Obviously, you worked with him as a youngster when he was here in 2013 and 14, and then came back and you were captain in the sides. What was he like? Um, I mean, very consistent in how he how he approached the game. Um, very calm, a very calm influence in the dressing room. Very calm about his own cricket. A lot of sort of zen. And uh, yeah, just a brilliant person to have around the group. You know. Constant counsel uh, for me, particularly when I when he came back second time as, as captain, and uh, yeah, as a young player trying to learn off him the first time around. Uh, and kind of, what's your favourite memories of Hashim Amla's career, both internationally and with Surrey? Is there anything? That uh, stands out. I was thinking about this in a way, in actually. Uh, probably my, one of my favourite memories of Hash is uh, up at Durham. Uh, in, I think it was 2013. Um, we're basically we're following on. We've been rolled first half for 100 odd. They've got 350 odd. We're under the pump. And I remember Hash going through the dressing room saying, "Lads, let's just uh, let's just not hit the ball for extra cover." Let's not hit the ball through extra cover, let's just really hold our defence and play a little bit straighter and those sort of things. And we got bowled out for 30 again, I think, but Hash got 85, maybe. And I think he scored the majority through extra cover, hitting him on the up. So I think he was basically just telling us not to hit it through extra cover and that he could. Perfect, perfect. And then, yeah, kind of what influences he had, I know we've touched on the subject, what's he had on the influences he had in your captaincy? Um, yeah, I mean, he's just been a constant source of counsel. He's always been someone that's, you know, he's always willing to give me an idea. Um, you know, he thinks very differently about the game at times. Um, and that's a good thing because he's got different perspectives. I mean, how he goes about his business and the sea, he's just a, a very relaxed human being and uh, a great bloke to have around the dressing room. So it's going to be a miss. I know that a lot of the batters uh, in particular got a lot out of him in terms of picking his brains, obviously great player by the best of the generation so um, yeah just can be a miss but a constant source of counsel and uh, obviously the world's best mid on perfect cheers bro.